Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and today we're back in Rising World, and today we're going to get a lot of stuff done. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to make all the crafting benches, including the, uh, the large smelter, or furnace. So, let's go into here, we'll go to crafting stations, and we want to make the big smelting furnace. You can see we have 256 stone on us. And we need to get 16 iron and 4 lumber. So let's go down here. And we're going to get 16. And click OK. And go back into here. We'll go to resources, lumber, craft. Go back down to crafting tools. Right there. Alright, so this thing is huge. It's actually really massive. Uh, let's go ahead and put that there. And uh, just to show in comparison, this is this is how big this thing is <laughs> compared to those things. Uh, but we're going to put this over here. Uh, I want to put it in a place where it's easy for me to access. So I'm going to kind of put it on a downward angle. Kind of like this. And the reason I'm doing that is so that I can access, hopefully, the front and back really easily. There we go. So it looks weird, but you can see I can access the front and back of it uh, really easily. We have a little door on the side here. We can open up. That's where we put our coal. Let's go ahead and get our coal and put that in there. We'll just put the whole thing in. Actually, we'll leave, we'll leave about, let's go to a thousand at least. There we go. <clears throat> a thousand should be fine. And then we'll put two into like this one over here. And that should be enough as well. So the first thing we're doing is we're going to smelt up the six uh, over here. And then go ahead and do two more. Go ahead and start that one. And then we'll have two left after we put everything into this one. Now, I'm actually going to do a small section of copper. I believe we need four or six pieces of copper. So, let's go ahead and go over here. And, okay, I already have the copper in here. We'll go ahead and put the, the copper down uh, right in the front. We'll do ten of them. There we go. And then we'll do the rest of these. I know it's kind of hard to see, but I can I can dig this out a little bit and flatten it once we start making tools here in a moment. All right, there we go. All right, so now that that's done, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to make our loom loom is going to allow us to make saddles clothing things along those lines so it requires 16 lumber and four iron rods so we're going to come down here we're going to craft one iron plate which makes four iron rods and then we need to make lumber which we can do was it 12 or 16 we'll make 16 just in case Go back to crafting, loom, and then we'll do uh, that. Let's go ahead and put that down. Put these here. Put this guy up here. I don't think it really matters how I put this down. Just put that right there. All right. So, the next thing we need is, we already have it on us, 
is we need to make cloth which we do here we're gonna do max then we're gonna do max again minus two and I'll explain that in a minute so here's how this is gonna look for us so we need a saddle and we need a saddle bags so that's eight leather for the saddle bags 16 leather for the horse um, horse saddle that's so that means the first thing we're gonna be doing today after we get done making these workbenches and everything is we need to go out and hunt and that's that's gonna be uh, a thing that we want to get done pretty quickly I don't think really uh, this tent here I'd like to make it it's nice it looks decent but honestly I don't want to use anything that isn't kind of primitive until I absolutely have to use something that isn't primitive if you if that makes any sense then you have clothing like tops shirts things like that um, then you have shoes which you can make fur lined shoes it takes leather um, pants make boxers leather leather pants jeans if you want to military pants and so on and then you come to here you have costumes which like um, the warm suit is something that you probably want to make if you're gonna be in cold weather a lot which I don't know if that's going to be a thing for us. Diving suit. Uh, I don't know if you are able to get like diving tanks. But I think there are supposed to be ruins underwater. So we might want to invest in that later on. And, but this is the, what we're, what we're going to be doing. So I plan before the end of the day to make a full set of night armor. Which is this... Um, either this set or this one which is a little bit darker and then a helmet and the helmet I think is through the accessories and that is right here iron helmet I wish you could shoot oh wait a minute is there a oh, oh come on now that's okay <laughs> I mean that is a realistic style of helmet, but I've played Skyrim too much, I guess. Uh, we'll go ahead and stick with the, the realistic helmet. I wish there was a, a, another one that was darker, though. And this, I guess, is supposed to be the darker helmet. Oh, no. We might go with this. i I just rather not go with something. We, we may end up going with the full lighter set. Anyway, <laughs> let's let's continue working on what we're working on. All right, so tanning rack is the next thing we need to make. It's lumber, and then we also need to make the paper press. So that's going to take 64 lumber and 16 iron plates. It's going to take a lot of our iron and lumber. Well, not a lot of our lumber. We got a lot of it. So I forget if I said 64 or not, but we're going to go ahead and make 64. And then iron plates was 16, right? That I definitely am going to check before I make it. The paper press, 16 plates. So we're going to go plates, 16. There we go. And we're going to craft this behemoth. All right. So I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put these things. We got that down. Did I not make the rack? Um, how much did I need for the rack? Need 16. Um, lumber. Actually, let's go ahead and do 36. Let's go ahead and make some sticks here. craft those and then we're gonna go to lights real quick 
And we're going to go to garden torches. We're going to make three of those guys. So let's go ahead and put these guys down real quick. Uh, lighten up the whole area for us. There we go. Put one right over here. And then that smelter is out, so that, sh that means that this iron should be done. Which means all of this should be done. <laughs> I grab all of that. I'll refill this later. I just want to get the the tools done. <laughs> or the, actually, we're not even going to make tools right off the bat. The thing we're going to make is the actual weapons, so we can go out hunting. And that's what I'll I'll probably spend the rest of the time doing is hunting, and then I'll smelt off of uh, off camera because we have a lot of smelting that we need to do if we plan to go with the iron armor. All right, so let's come over here, and I think I think I need four. I may be wrong about this, and I think we need. Let's see here. So we're going to go over to utilities. Miscellaneous. I might, did I miss it? Okay, here's the old clock. Craft that. Now we need more, f uh, four more copper rods. Uh, that means we also need at least two more of those. Get four more copper rods. There we go. We'll create the compass, and then we'll create the telescope. There we go. Ooh, fishing rod. Sticks, iron rods, thread. So let's go ahead and go to resources. Uh, am I looking in there? <laughs> let's go ahead and make... Actually, let's go ahead and make a little bit more because we're going to want to make arrows and all that kind of stuff. Let's see here. Let's go with that. Because we're going to have to make... Uh, Trying to think what it's called. We're gonna have to make a bow, arrows. I forgot what. Uh, we still haven't. We have. We still haven't even made our tools yet. All right. So there's that. Let's go ahead and make our tools before I completely forget. Also, we need to make our weapon, um, or weapons rather. So we need the reflex bow. I think is what I'm gonna use. Requires one thread, one iron, or two iron rods. Uh, I don't think I have any thread left on me, but I think I have, yeah, I have some cotton. Let's go ahead and move these. So, um, yeah, over here. Was it just one, or was it two? Let's go ahead and make two just in case. There we go. Iron rods. And bows made. Now we need iron rods for arrows. So we'll go ahead and make four plates. And then make max iron rods. And make arrows. So let's see here. Go with 64. Oh yeah, and that, that covers all of our ammo slots. 
Now we have uh, clock, compass. We now need to make the map, but we also... All right, let me get a few things made here and wait for daytime and we'll we'll go out hunting all right so it's daytime now and i wanted to show you some things that i've done so as you can see i put down the press and i put down the um the the skin stretcher so that you can skin your hides uh, or um, turn your hides into leather i've also put down a um a grated cooking station over here I've cooked I'm cooking up aluminum now uh, which is done and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to get all the stuff done to make the tier 2 workbench and then uh, we'll go ahead and start working on the actual armor I, I was thinking about it and I was like you know the armor is great and everything I'd love to get the armor but if we can actually get all of the workbenches done while we're here, then I can work on getting the armor later. There we go. So let me see here. Let's let's get our iron out and see what it takes to make this tier two workbench. And then we'll, we'll be done with crafting stations. We'll be done for, unless there's a, unless there's stuff we can do on the crafting station. All right, so we need 40 iron plates and four aluminum plates. That's ridiculous. It's 40. Wish I could press shift or control. And do tins. All right, forty, and then did I say only four aluminum? Okay, and then uh, <clears throat> we need thirty-two iron rods, right? I think that's what I said. Which should be eight. And we can now craft our tier two workbench. And we're not gonna do anything with this yet, I don't think, but I, I just wanna place it down so we can at least see what kind of things we get out of it. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, we can make steel. Wait a minute, I don't understand. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, are you telling me that steel is still iron? It's just more iron than before? And these cut better and I've already made look I've made a few tools I didn't make a lot of tools I made an axe a pick a pickaxe and all that but I'm gonna be able to jump straight to steel now sledgehammers made out of steel hose made out of steel or detector is something we are gonna absolutely need to get but we're not gonna worry about it right now chainsaw this right here this is a must-have and then a weed whacker <laughs> that's that's kind of awesome anyway utilities a real clock oh i'm sorry my clock isn't good enough for you and then you have an upgraded compass we won't get these uh just because of the fact they are um i'm sorry about the ringing in the background man that's a really loud ring uh we're not gonna get these because these are too new for us Maybe this, but probably not that. Binoculars, again, if they looked old, uh, I'd probably get them, but they don't, so I won't get those. Resources, light bulbs, fluorescent light bulbs, okay. Lights, like a flashlight, pin light. Maybe that's for underwater stuff. Lamps. Like white lamps and oh, it's getting into the real, the real lighting. Okay, I I get you. And then I'm guessing you have to have light bulbs for all of those weapons. Okay, no, that's we're not gonna go with that. Medical, four bandages plus one iron plate. A medical restores a hundred health and stops bleeding. Oh. 
Man, that is hard not to want to get, though. I mean, just think if you're taking on bandits or bears or skeletons or whatever we run into, and you get really low health and you can just pull out a med kit and boom, you're full health. Oh, let's check on the meat. <laughs> Uh-oh, please tell me these aren't burnt. Okay, they're not burnt. Let's go ahead and eat one. All right, there we go. Wow, that took us from yellow, from yellow food to 100% food by eating that. The ribs seem like they would take a lot, little bit longer to make. But yeah, that med kit, we're going to have to think about it. More crafting stations. Okay, more just uh, tier two. Ooh, boats. Okay. No. No. We're not, go we're not getting this boat. Look, we have this boat. We we can make this boat in the game. That's that's gonna be our boat. I'm sorry if you don't like that, but I'm trying to stay as medieval as possible. But if we plan to get into any kind of um, any kind of caves or not caves, but to any kind of dungeons, we're gonna need to have the better tools, the the um the mining drill. So I, I will I will set aside that yes, I will get that. But and the ore detector because finding ore is really hard apparently. But no, I am not going to go and um, and get a water uh, is it are they called uh, dirigible rafts or something along those lines? Yeah, anyway, we got it made. <laughs> that was the whole point. Uh, before we leave, let's see here. Let's put all this stuff in here. And we need... Not this. We need paper. Not paper. Cloth. There we go. We're going to take uh, cloth and turn it into paper is what we're about to do. So this right here is our paper press, and I don't think we need more than one, but we'll go ahead and do the full thing, make it look legit. And so once you put the cloth in there, we're going to use the press to turn it into scraps, if I remember correctly. So there you go, you have scraps. Now we have to take a bucket, and we just throw the water of, uh, from the bucket into there. And then we press it again. And now we have paper. Alright, and then we come over to here. And find out where in the mini... Uh, oh, there it is. It's miscellaneous. And we'll create a map. So now we should be able to press M. And here we are. Uh, we can go ahead and put down a... Uh, place we'll put our home and make it green I think that's it I don't think I have to do anything else if I press M again it's there so that's good all right let's clear out our inventory and oh the ribs are done good we'll have some extra food on us in case we get attacked by a bear or anything like that and uh, we do have some hides uh, in our inventory. We'll go ahead and keep those. Let's go ahead and put this stuff in here. Uh, we need the sword. We don't need the cloth. We don't need the paper. Keep the canteen on us. Don't need the bucket. I'm going to keep the uh, sickle on me. We'll put that there. And I, I don't plan on mining... I'll keep a torch on me just in case. Keep my little eyeglass as well. And we'll put our axe in there. And we'll fish later. <laughs> just tried to think of everything. Uh, and we don't need this either. Alright, I think that's it. This gives us a lot of inventory to do some hunting. Look at that sword. Oh, and we can block with it as well. That's one of my problems. Is I... It's like I hit like this, but honestly, if you were uh, doing PvP with someone else, this could be considered a uh, 
like a, a fake so you can parry or dodge all right <laughs> let's go hunting and see what we can find i'm guessing the first thing we'll find is maybe cows i'm also we're on the hunt for a horse there's a horse right there okay so you just have to remember where that horse is and hopefully we get enough uh hide while we're out to get our saddle so that we can uh have our a horse going let's drink a little bit of water and i think there's a um yeah right here okay looks like our first victim is going to be a pig let's go ahead and make sure we fill this back up oh we took him down in one shot oh no skin no skin on this one we'll take the bacon though watermelons well what just happened to the land over there i think it's shifting because i'm coming into the coming into here cows all right i'm gonna try to shoot from far away and and try to get the high ground I hope the other one doesn't spaz out. All right, that's a straight line. I, I kind of, I kind of wish that wasn't a thing. Kind of wish that the um, that the whole um, no arc thing wasn't uh, in the game. I, I want, I want arc. I want to require arc for us to uh, to be able to hit the animals. I don't think we're going to pick up any more meat, though. I think we're going to just stick with what we have as far as meat goes. And I'm going to go on a little hunting trip, and I will meet you back at the base when we are ready to skin uh, or get all these hides ready to make our saddle for our horse. So I've been hunting for a while, and I just came across this and thought this was pretty cool. I'm not going to kill the two foxes. I just think uh, it's really cool that they're just hanging around that pole down there. Kind of like a yin and yang kind of thing. Kind of like the avatar, you know. I just thought that was uh, pretty cool. And the sun's going down. And right now I am not really hunting so much as I'm just making my way back home. But I wanted to go in a different way. Oh, it even shows it that way too. That's pretty cool. Um, but I'm also looking for any kind of, like, watermelon or pumpkin or any kind of fruit, vegetable, cotton, hemp, or anything along those lines that I can use my sickle on to try to get seeds. Now, I know that I probably shouldn't be worrying about it because I, uh, wow, these mountains are pretty big. Um, I know I shouldn't be worrying about it since we're about to pack up and, uh, and move soon. I think I got him. Alright. I don't know if you noticed, but I did go ahead and get 10 meat. Just so that I can, so I can have them. Are we going to have rain? Ooh, that's not going to be good for us. Alright, let's go ahead and get our torch in our hand. I don't, I don't plan to do any more hunting, but if I do get attacked, at least I have my sword ready to go. Um, and some food as well. Alright, let's get down to this flatland. Okay, I think... No. no the, this, this yellow grass is um is like the bane of my existence i can't stand this stuff it's really hard to see through it's really tall and i don't even know if i'm going the right way you know i'm just going straight away from where where i live so let's go ahead and go this way i just want to get back into my mountains into the area that i know which should be close. I mean, just looking at the map, I should be close to where where I've been mining. Just 
take a look at the map here. Oh, I left out a chunk. I'm a completionist. <laughs> I gotta go back. No, I'll worry about that later. Uh, right now, I just want to get back home and start tanning hides. Okay, um, here's cabbage. There we go. We got, um, le it was lettuce. Lettuce and lettuce seedling the seedlings. Yeah, I may I may only do that for certain ones, but I haven't seen lettuce. And again, he hasn't added any kind of uh oh that's not what I thought it was. I thought it was cotton. Uh he hasn't added anything where we can uh go and make a cooking station and say combine these ingredients that you cooked maybe and uh and you get more nutrition out of it or whatever oh okay well either way i am now back in a place i know uh, now all i have to do is go this way and how am i doing on hides i can fit one more hide we're going we freedom <laughs> or whatever <laughs> there we go ah now i feel bad all right you know what i'll give you the lettuce i'll keep the seedlings i'll take the meat and it is getting cold and rainy is rain is gonna be happening soon all right get our torch back out we're home though all I have to do is stand by our campfire. There we go. And let's get some meat cooking since it forced me to pick some up. Uh, nope. Yeah, well, the sick was fine. I wonder if when we pick those back up, if they stack. If they do... It might be more beneficial for us to get bacon. And I got all these steaks. I'm just going to put these in here. Uh, I have no room for anything else. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. I got, I think, okay, so not counting these two, I got one, oh, wait a minute. Got two moose, one, two, black bear, yeah, three bear pelts. So I did good. Um, let's get, let's see, do I even have the tool? No, I didn't even get the tool, so let's go ahead and put that there. We have some sticks in here. And we need to get ourselves a... Uh, okay, tools. Hunting knife. Alright, let's go ahead and put this guy up on here. Get our hunting knife out. It's already there. Put these on here. I could have swore I just heard a bear. Huh? Huh? No, okay. No bear. <laughs> I'm freaking myself out. Alright, um, what was I gonna do over here? Just looking at something in my inventory. And, oh yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna do. So I'm gonna grab this torch and put it, uh, put it down, like right on this side. All right, let's get to work. I can't remember if it was 16 hides. 16 um, leather that we needed or or what it was we got four off of that one this is a boar it looks like
All right. All right, so I'm back now, and uh, we have a lot more leather than I was expecting. Also, I went ahead and made the steel tools. Um, I went ahead and put the hoe in the um, chest there. But I want to show you a little example of the, the differences. But right now, we have something more important to worry about. And that is getting a horse. So we need eight iron rods, cloth, and then we need another four iron rods. So let's come over here. Let's grab this cloth. And so it said it was what? Uh, 10 iron plates total? We'll go with 10 iron plates. It's not going to hurt us to have extras. All right, so iron rods for this one. I, oh, well, we definitely made more than we needed. So I forget already, but I'm going to go ahead and make 12 and hope that's enough. So saddle is done. Saddle bags is also done. We just need to get a horse, which I've seen one really close by. Uh, let's put the saddlebags there. By the way, bacon stacks. So I want to be getting, uh, I'm going to keep bacon from now on. We may, I don't know if they have breeding or anything like that with the pigs or anything. There's some more lettuce right there. But I would love to uh, get breeding into the game. Uh, I think that's something that was suggested to him. Yeah, so here's the horse. Let's go ahead and... I, is there any kind of taming method? Or do I just straight up go, Hey, horse. Wait a minute. I had a little cross thing. Huh? Oh, how much space is that? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that's, that's a lot of space. That's all of our crafting benches. We can put seeds in here. We can put the leather in here. If we want to. Let's go ahead and take our horse. And ride it back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is it, man. We've gotten everything I wanted done today. Next time, it, the whole plan is to get our iron armor made. It may not be the best armor, but it is going to be our armor. And that's all I really care about. Alright, let's go ahead and get off of this guy. And we're going to come over here to a, a mountain. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to just see how many hits it takes to break this stone. We'll start over here. One, two, three, four. Okay, four for that one. This... This is the iron pick. Okay, three hits, and it's a much faster swing. And then we have the steel pick. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, that is, that's pretty amazing that we now have steel tools that work really well. Let's, um... Let's chop down this tree. See if it's any better. We have um, we have our our iron axe. Let's see how how it does. Actually, let's be fair. Let's be fair to the axe real quick. We know that there's a lot of these white trees around. I'm gonna call them birch trees. They may be called something else, but we're gonna call them birch trees. So let's see how long it takes for me to to knock it down and get the stump. So one. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So that was 14 hits. 14 hits to knock that down. I'm going to get those. So <laughs> let's. I think that's one more. All right. So then we have this guy. And so that was 14. One, two, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a better axe. Honestly, 
I was thinking about it. I really wish this was just painted differently. I don't like the red. I, I understand the reasoning. It's supposed to like separate it from the others, but uh, honestly, this right here, I like this. And this pick being that it only takes two hits, I'm going to use it instead of making the drill, I think. We'll make the drill to test it out just to see what kind, what the difference is. But I think this is going to be my go-to. I, I like using, using my hands, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. The base has gotten a little bit bigger. And next time we're going to get our armor. And we may go ahead and move out. We may go and try to find a place to settle down, get our home built. And, um, yeah, it's, I'm really enjoying the game. I'm really enjoying the updates to the game. And I hope you guys are as well. This has been Cypher Deck. Peace out.